Our next speaker's profile basically uh, join uh, both uh, politics and education. Uh, he's coming from the Middle East. Uh, he studied at uh, Leeds Metropolitan University and Surrey at the University of Bath, UK, in 1985. He has more than 120 publications, uh, 30 research projects. Uh, in 2006, uh, he was appointed uh, as vice president for regional external program at the American University of Beirut. He is a founding member of the first Arab Computer Society established in 2001. Uh, in 2011, he was appointed Minister of Education and Higher, uh, and higher Education in the Lebanese government. Uh, his presentation today is on cultural diplomacy and education. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Minister Hassan Diab of Education of Lebanon. Marhaban Bik. Just a minor connection, it's Hassan, not Hassan, but uh, um, <clears throat> good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank ICD for their uh, kind invitation um, to this, uh, what I regard a very interesting and important event. Um, I will not be talking as a politician in, in this uh, presentation, but rather as an academician. Um, education, no doubt, is uh, at the heart of many solutions, uh, not just in the region, but in the whole world, uh, specifically in the MENA region or Middle East and North African region, with the current youth bulge of uh, almost two-thirds of uh, the population uh, of uh, over 320 million um, in 21 Arab countries uh, under the age of 30, uh, uh, and with an unemployment of uh, about 25% in that region, which is the highest in, uh, in, in the globe. Uh, no doubt uh, education, um, when I say education, of course, I mean quality education, um, poses a solution to many of the problems that uh, we have uh, seen over the past years and we are still witnessing right now. Um, Quality education would have addressed uh, the unemployment, uh, the uh, generation of jobs, the dire economic state that the countries are in, uh, in the region, uh, as well as um, many of the issues that are being faced right now. So going back to my presentation, um, basically uh, it's... Uh, uh, divided into a short introduction. I'll talk about 21st century skills, uh, how cultural diplomacy fits into education, and specifically how this can be integrated into the curricula, specifically in higher education institutions, but in uh, basic education as well, how cooperation programs can uh, contribute to cultural diplomacy, and a short uh, a conclusion. Um, Education um, sector uh, can directly and actively uh, serve the goals sought by cultural diplomacy under uh, a unified goal, which is uh, preparing uh, cultured global citizens capable of functioning in a multicultural world. Uh, so there is strong relation between education and cultural diplomacy. The skills required to advance uh, education in an increasingly connected multicultural world are those of cultural uh, diplomacy. There's obviously an intersection between education goals and the 21st century, which must be taken into consideration that involves not only the knowledge, the curricula, but also the learner and the teacher or the facilitator. Um, 21st century skills, uh, obviously a curriculum reform in education systems um, should cater for the dynamically changing needs of the 21st century and should equip students with the needed breadth and depth of knowledge and skills that will enable them to work, live and contribute in a highly competitive global uh, society. The framework for 21st century learning consists, as you can see from the figure, of core subjects and themes that revolve around three main skills, life and career skills, 
learning and innovation skills, as well as ICT skills. The course subjects uh, include uh, English, language, arts, math, science, geography, history, civics, uh, and, uh, and others. The pool underneath that you see in the figure, uh, underneath the rainbow, represents uh, the paradigmatic uh, shift towards supporting 21st century learning, understanding, and skills uh, performance. So um, all of these have to be taken into consideration. This is an example of um, uh, 21st century skills in the case of art education. As you can see, critical thinking, problem solving uh, come into play, communications, collaboration, creativity, innovation, uh, ICT literacy, uh, um, social skills, uh, cross-cultural, as well as uh, leadership uh, are all part of these uh, required uh, skills. Um, now, uh, these are some of the skills that are required from the practical side of cultural diplomacy, flexibility, communication, adaptability initiative, uh, as I mentioned, leadership, self-direction, and so on. These, uh, one way or the other, can be integrated into the curricula that should meet the 21st century uh, skills. I don't need to reiterate on cultural diplomacy. This is from the uh, website of uh, the ICD as defined by Dr. Uh, Cummings. Um, so diplomacy requires the presentation of non-confrontational uh, skills, as was mentioned before, of mediation and negotiation in order to reach a common goal. This in turn requires communication skills, part of the 21st century skills, as well as knowledge in the subject matter. Um, cultural diplomacy principles leading to global peace and stability include respect of cultural diversity, global intercultural interchange, justice and interdepend interdependence, supporting human rights, as well as um, global peace. Um, now, all of this can, one way or the other, be integrated into the design of uh, curricula. And when we talk about curricula design, we could mean multiple things at the higher education level, at the basic education level, as well as at the VTE level, vocational and technical education level. I will talk, um, uh, uh, of course, curricula, because of the dynamically uh, uh, changing uh, uh, requirements of uh, education. Curricula is designed and redesigned all the time. I know as a professor, at the American University of Beirut for uh, over 25 years, uh, we always revisit the curricula of bachelor programs and master's programs every year or a maximum of two years. So um, it's not something that should be done once every 10 years, as has been the case in uh, the Lebanese government. Uh, when I took over, that was my first priority. And uh, for the past year and a half, we've been working on that. We've already. Uh, revise the curricula for the first uh, two cycles in basic education. We're in the process of doing the next two cycles. So design of curricula, I will talk about internationalization of curricula while remaining sensitive to local and regional education needs, to correlation of curricula with the labor market needs, which is um, not completely, but to a large extent ignored, at least in the Middle East, and pre-university curricula um, uh, at the uh, school level. Obviously, additionally, the education system has to consider teaching methodologies and assessment techniques. I personally think that as far as these two aspects are concerned, that over the past, over the next, I'm sorry, next uh, decade or, or 15 years, we will be witnessing a re revolution in the way we uh, uh, carry out education, especially with the uh, pace of uh, emergence of uh, ICT and its implementation and application in education. So first, um, I'll talk about um, internationalization uh, of higher education curricula, which entails creating common cross-disciplinary competencies, combining competencies with balanced and coherent learning components, and requiring the design of a GE or a general education component at the bachelor degree level. This uh, general education component is supposed to serve as the catalyst, as the common ground um, for all bachelor degrees at uh, any uh, specific uh, university, sometimes referred to as university uh, requirements. And this is where 
cultural diplomacy um, values uh, uh, can be integrated into, uh, not necessarily only in the general education component, but in a, in a main way in the uh, general education uh, component. So in relation to the requirements mentioned for cultural diplomacy and the integration of these requirements in higher education curricula through general education courses, internationalization of higher education requires the design of a component to ensure several aspects, including uh, the development of uh, measurable learning outcomes, as well as enabling the teaching staff to propose subjects, among other things. The general education component uh, in higher education programs promote the liberal arts education model. Um, uh, based on the definition of the Association of American Colleges and Universities, liberal education is a learning approach that empowers individuals, preparing them to deal with complexity, diversity, and change. So typically, the general education requirements include um, uh, communication skills, um, uh, which is uh, written and spoken in native and English language one of the strengths of uh, the Lebanese educational system. All students know at least two languages, most know three languages. Uh, thinking skills as well as ethics. The major categories of general education include natural sciences, humanities, um, social sciences, and quantitative thought, all offered at the sophomore level uh, onwards. And they represent a, a reasonable chunk of the overall uh, program. So if we're talking about a three-year bachelor program starting with sophomore level, that's about 90 credits. We're talking about almost 30 credits, which is a third of the overall uh, uh, program. Another important issue is harmonization of curricula with labor market needs, which is uh, very much lacking in the MENA region, as I mentioned uh, before. For example, targeting specific uh, professions in direct and permanent contact with society among these jobs uh, are the education sector, health sector, social uh, affairs, social services, law sector, uh, 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 among uh, uh, others. Uh, also, graduates uh, should have a high sense of humanity, ethics, concern for public and human rights in terms of uh, beliefs as well as uh, in terms of uh, uh, practices. The labor market needs uh, uh, and curricula require adaptation of curricula to the profession's requirements, for example, elements pertaining to general culture, laws, ethics, uh, practice modules, and to adapt teaching and learning methodologies that are needed to achieve that purpose. As far as pre-university curricula, and in the case of uh, Lebanon, the Lebanese pre-university education system consists of 12 years of study, uh, followed by uh, a period, uh, following a period of uh, preschool uh, education, which is three years. Um, we have free public education. Um, we have about 3,000 uh, schools, half of them almost uh, are uh, public uh, institutions. Mandatory education until grade nine, uh, usually age of 15. Optional pre-elementary education uh, of three years and three cycles of education, elementary, middle school, and high school, which is typically what most uh, countries uh, uh, have. Uh, therefore, integrating cultural diplomacy into education requires the following, uh, uh, the following uh, measures. Uh, we should be revising the curricula as we're doing in, in Lebanon, establishing better uh, teaching uh, practices uh, to uh, switch from, uh, which has been the case for many institutions, but not uh, completely, from uh, uh, teacher-centered to student-centered uh, teaching, uh, ensuring a healthy school environment, enhancing uh, social educational activities, strengthening the relation between school and society, uh, and we've done that recently. I've uh, passed a decree, which has been approved by the cabinet, for uh, community service, uh, so all schools, uh, we have about a million students in the 3,000 schools in Lebanon. That's a quarter of the population almost. Um, uh, all students in the secondary uh, uh, school phase have to fulfill 60 hours of community service over the period of three years before they uh, graduate. Um, and sharing success stories and uh, good practices. 
Um, designing such a program uh, entails uh, working on the practical, on the scientific, uh, and literary subjects, in particular those related to the social uh, fields. Uh, for example, in history, geography, civic education, sociology, languages, as well as math and nat nature sciences. Um, parallel to developing a curricula that encompass cultural diplomacy, the educational system can develop many activities to promote diplomacy at the learner's level inside and outside the classroom. For example, enhance the teaching of foreign languages. Uh, at least one uh, foreign language, uh, uh, and that's the case of Lebanon, uh, uh, has to be part of the overall educational uh, experience. Promote the reading at school level, reading world cultures and in different languages. Uh, organize competitions on subjects related to mankind achievements, world cultures and civilizations. We have dozens, maybe hundreds of such competitions that the ministry is supporting, promoting uh, 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 in, in many ways uh, in the private as well as the public sector in Lebanon. A lot of them are international competitions to allow students to rub shoulders with their uh, peers in other countries. Also organize extracurricular activities oriented to serve the goals of cultural diplomacy. Many examples of those encourage enrollment in foreign diplomas. We have a lot of that in Lebanon and celebrate world occasions and days uh, so that you raise uh, awareness uh, uh, at, the, at the school levels. Another important issue in higher education is uh, cooperation programs between higher education institutions uh, uh, that promote student mobility. Regarding student mobility, we are also currently finalizing, we've been working on, uh, on this for the past year, uh, for the first time, uh, an NQF, a National Qualification Framework for Lebanon. I know there are NQFs for most countries in Europe, uh, in, uh, in uh, North America, and other countries in the world. And uh, we are in the process of finalizing that so that it is uh, uh, in line and uh, with a high correlation factor with these other NQFs to allow uh, 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 simple mobility, easy mobility of students across different countries and therefore different NQFs. Launching different forms of cooperation between higher education institut institutions can include establishment of uh, joint uh, degrees, research activities, uh, various events, seminars, international conferences, workshops, and so on. And uh, Lebanon uh, has been the hub uh, in the region, uh, at least when there is uh, peace, uh, to, to encourage that uh, uh, in the private as well as the public higher education sector. Also, academic mobility, as I said, in terms of training sessions, postgraduate thesis, a course module uh, or a term abroad, uh, as well as uh, student exchange programs. We have 45 higher education institution, institutions in, in Lebanon, only one public university, uh, uh, which includes about the Lebanese university, which includes about 40% of uh, the students in higher education in Lebanon, and the rest, 44 uh, uh, institutions, about 30 of those are universities, the other are uh, university colleges. Um, uh, have uh, hundreds of such uh, agreements with uh, other universities uh, within the same region uh, as well as uh, across uh, the world. I know, uh, having been at AUB for uh, 25 years, uh, that uh, AUB has uh, over 100 such agreements with uh, universities across the globe, from the States to Japan. Um, in Lebanon, uh, academic freedom uh, has led to a diversity, which I very much encourage, uh, diversity of education system, uh, whether it's uh, uh, um, Anglo or Franco, uh, or European, or an Arab, or a hybrid between uh, those institutions. However, uh, I have been uh, very much uh, uh, pushing for uh, quality education in terms of asking for uh, institutional and program accreditations. Uh, quite a few universities have already done that. Some are in the process of doing that. I've also pushed for a new law which is now in the parliament approved by the cabinet that has to do with establishing uh, a new quality assurance board for higher education that is independent from the minister and from all politicians to do their proper academic work. However, we have uh, also a, a national exam for some specialities in medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, nursing, physiotherapy, nutrition, medical lab, and so on to ensure uh, quality of 
uh, degrees, uh, you know, students that get the degrees across uh, the world. Uh, government policy and the Ministry of Education and Higher Education Action Plan in Lebanon play a major role in empowering cultural uh, diplomacy, particularly through bilater bilateral and multi-country agreements. It is also worth mentioning that uh, in the Lebanese education system, uh, teaching uh, foreign languages is essential. So the first uh, foreign language is either French or uh, English, and the second is either French, English, German, Italian, or Armenian. Um, teaching uh, foreign uh, curricula and degrees, I mentioned that before. This includes uh, French BAC, international BAC. Uh, there's an Arab international BAC under study. Uh, this is in addition to uh, the Lebanese BAC that Lebanese students have to uh, undergo. Um, in conclusion, uh, cultural diplomacy is a uh, heading under which many objectives are set up. Objectives should be federated in different areas, in, uh, in politics, in education, in media and culture, in labor, in social affairs, and so on. So it's, it's, uh, it's not just the Ministry of Education. There are many players in achieving this. Various commitments and international declarations related to cultural diplomacy exist nowadays. However, Practical measures remain the most effective and efficient way of materializing cultural diplomacy. It enhances cooperation. Uh, education plays a major role in establishing concepts aimed by cultural diplomacy and weaving cultural diplomacy into the internationalization of education will become more relevant and necessary as we move toward the goal of graduating international citizens that balance depth in the subject matter and breadth of knowledge, of knowledge with appreciation for multiculturalism so that the new generations may have life and live it more abundantly. Finally, I just want to say a word that uh, uh, to give Lebanon as an example of how essential cultural diplomacy is. Uh, as the late former Pope uh, mentioned when he visited Lebanon, uh, Lebanon is not only a country, it is a message to the whole world uh, and a unique model of a mosaic of social fabric and interfaith coexistence in one society. I say failure of the Lebanese model as a societal coexistence is not only a failure of, Reb of Lebanon or even the region, but the whole world. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for uh, sharing with us the successful story of uh, Lebanon as a case uh, of uh, a successful higher educational and uh, enhancing cultural diplomacy. Let's see if the audience has any questions. Yes? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Götz Kaufmann. I'm uh, teaching since four years at Freie Universität in sociology, and I'm now professor at Institute for Cultural Diplomacy. I really appreciated your presentation. Uh, I think you're really targeting the main questions we have in science now by including like um, in cultural diplomacy and teaching best practices. Uh, I have a question regarding one slide you have shown where you referred to uh, quantitative thoughts. As a sociologist and uh, mainly focusing on methods, I was wondering in as much this distinguishes like qualitative and quantitative thoughts and why you have chosen this concept instead of may many others you have could have chosen. Uh, what I have mentioned are examples of the various categories and aspects that have to be considered uh, when integrating cultural diplomacy. It's not necessarily limited to those. Obviously, uh, experts uh, in the area are, are working on this. Uh, I'm not an expert myself. I'm a professor of computer engineering. So uh, 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 these are posed as uh, examples to just illustrate uh, the diverse areas uh, uh, in which uh, cultural diplomacy can be integrated, not necessarily only in, uh, in classroom activities, but could be uh, uh, you know, uh, hands-on and practical out-of-classroom activities, which uh, in many cases uh, are probably uh, absorbed much better by students uh, than in class activities. So uh, just as an illustrative example. Any other questions? So thank you very much for a very interesting presentation. Uh, my question is uh, regarding to this point, education has the greatest impact to build an honorable example for the society and education plays a major role in establishing city, cultural diplomacy. 
how far is it in Lebanon or how far can you see the possibility to go over this pilot project or extra subject of cultural diplomacy and to see it in inclu inclusive uh, by uh, teacher design curricula, teacher trainings, by uh, new development of main subjects with a focus on peace building, uh, social inclusion, cultural diplomacy, intercultural, interreligious dialogue. How far can you uh, see that? Okay. Uh, first, uh, I should perhaps clarify that Lebanon has been for the past decades, uh, as anybody from the region might be aware, has been the beacon of education and higher education in the MENA region. Uh, everybody wanted to go to Lebanon for their education. Um, however, uh, due to many problems that you're probably aware of, uh, starting from the civil uh, war uh, up to the current uh, situation, um, uh, uh, there has been many problems in the, and delays in the education sector. For example, when I took over a year and a half ago, I found out that the curricula, uh, you know, the Ministry of Education and Higher Education has, uh, is, is the largest in, in uh, the Lebanese, out of the Lebanese ministries, because under its umbrella, we have basic education, as I said, 3,000 schools and a million students. We have uh, higher education, about 45 uh, institutions, a uh, quarter of a million students, and uh, we have vocational and technical education. All of these are separate directorates. And we have the CERD, the Center for uh, Education Research and Development that carries out um, uh, all the training of teachers as well as the design of the curricula. Those, uh, the, the curricula, uh, I'm talking about K-12 curricula. The curricula, when I took over, has not been touched for 14 years. So my, my uh, initial task was, you know, uh, let's start work on the curricula, set up uh, many teams. It's a, it's a major task. And we've been working on this for the past year. As I said, we've finished the first two cycles approved by the cabinet. We're currently working on the next two cycles, and then... Hopefully, when we finish that, we'll have the secondary uh, level uh, left to carry out. So it depends on the lifetime of the government. Uh, when uh, revisiting uh, curricula, which by law, by the way, in Lebanon should be done every, uh, you know, in a maximum of every period of four years, uh, not practiced, but uh, nevertheless, uh, there is a decree uh, to that uh, uh, effect. Um, uh, when we revise uh, curricula, there are a million things to include. Uh, environmental awareness, uh, you know, uh, nationalism-related uh, topics, uh, um, uh, many, many issues to include, uh, not necessarily uh, in-class activities. Uh, some of them may be activities outside the classroom, including cultural diplomacy. So it's an intricate uh, uh, process uh, that has to be uh, uh, carried out uh, and obviously by experts that define where each task has to be placed and, and to what extent. You cannot do everything. Um, uh, uh, so uh, this is not an easy process, but this leads to a, a graduate that is um, aware of, his, uh, of the world around him, that is a, a global citizen, that uh, is uh, knowledgeable breadth-wise, not just depth-wise, uh, because in, in our high school system, we have four different tracks, um, two in the science and two in the uh, literary, in the humanities uh, area. So students choose one of them before deciding to go to one of the specializations in university. Um, and uh, uh, allowing uh, uh, students to, to basically be uh, global citizens and aware of uh, human rights and all the global issues. Um, Lebanon being in the middle, you know, between, has always been uh, um, uh, at the meeting point between East and West uh, for the past uh, two millenniums. So, uh, Many things are happening in Lebanon all the time, and students, school students and university students are very aware of many of the issues, that, the regional issues as well as international issues. Um, uh, so uh, integrating these into the curricula, allowing them to participate in such activities, 
uh, is definitely enriching to students and they stand out. They stand out compared to high school students um, from the rest of the region and, and other places in the world even. Um, and uh, even those that graduate from some of the universities, high quality universities in Lebanon, such as AUB, are accepted in the top universities across the world, including MIT, Harvard, not because they're top only depth-wise in the specialization area, but they are well-balanced. Uh, strong communication skills, uh, strong uh, breadth of knowledge, uh, aware of many things in the world, and entrepreneurs in their own right. Entrepreneurship is another topic that we're teaching, uh, not teaching, but uh, you know, the culture of ent entrepreneurship is being integrated into curricula at high school. We have a pilot study for that. But the curricula is not a pilot study. This is, this is it. We're, we're doing it. And, and uh, once it's approved by the cabinet, it will be implemented. Uh, Mr. Uh, Minister, thank you very much for uh, uh, exhaustively answering to our questions and invitation. It was really a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much thank for you. your participation.